Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now in my last video I did a overview of the topic business letters and I noted towards the end about the three layouts of the business letter the fully blocked, the semi-blocked and the indented style letter. Now this video starts the series where I'll be looking at each letter in depth. So I'm going to start off today by looking at the fully blocked letter. What are the features of the fully blocked layout? All elements are aligned to the left margin. This includes the reference, date, inside name and address, salutation, all the paragraphs, the complementary clause, the signature block, everything. Everything is aligned to the left margin. However, I must note that everything is aligned to the left margin except the letterhead. Why? Because the letterhead would have come on pre-prepared paper. So when the secretary or whomever is printing this letter, they will have a document bearing that letterhead that the type letter will be printed on. And so a company will not have a, a letter, a letterhead for the block style, a letterhead for the semi-block and the indented style. No. A letter, their letterhead is their standard. It goes on all documents. All letters that are being sent out by the company is placed on the letterhead, irrespective of the layout of the letter. So that must be known. All right. And there's a video, as I said before, on the letterhead that explains all of that. Now, apart from the letterhead, everything else, all the elements that I just mentioned should be flushed in the left margin or start or should be aligned or tight from the left margin. The next thing is the format of the date. Now, whenever we are typing, the date has a specific format that goes with the layout of the document that we are typing. Now, for the fully blocked layout, otherwise known as the blocked style, the format is day, month, year. An example of that is 2nd February 2021. Note I didn't say February 2, 2021 because that's a layout for a different type of letter. So it is 2nd February 2021. And because the next point I'll be speaking at speaking, speaks about open punctuation that is used in this type of letter, I did not have another example that says 2nd February. Because with open punctuation, those things are eliminated. So let us look at that. So the third point is that there is open punctuation. Now this is where all punctuation marks that do not change the meaning of the matter are omitted. Punctuation marks such as the full stop, colon, and comma are omitted after abbreviations and from all parts of a document except the body. And that must always be remembered. When open punctuation uh, is used, there is no space between letters in abbreviation. Example, MA, YMCA, and BBC. The ST for saying the ND, RD, and the TH that are normally placed on numbers. So I was speaking a while ago about 2nd February, right? Those are always omitted when the day is placed before the month. A space after every digit from the right in numbers of more than three digits. Example, three space four eight seven, which is three thousand four hundred and eighty seven. Right? Instead of placing a comma, as with other styles, we place a space for the block style. And likewise with the 21,095, 21 space 095. In certain numbers, such as NIS numbers, ID numbers, and file numbers, the figures are closed up. Acronyms, abbreviations of weight and measures, and abbreviation of words where the final letter of a word finishes the abbreviation are all typed in open punctuation. So, for example, Mrs. Limited, but we use the term LTD, DR for doctor, and FT for feet, right? Those abbreviations 
are typed using open punctuation. We don't have any full stop after them. Note, therefore, that full stops, colons, and commas are omitted from the date, addresses, salutation, and the complementary clause, and everything else that will come below the complementary clause. Only in the body of the letter do we have punctuation. Now, sometimes we may be typing a letter on A4 paper, and the, let, the paper with the letterhead or the plain paper that we're using cannot hold the letter that we're typing. Simply put, the letter is too long for the one page that we're typing, typing it on. And as such, we may need to have a second page to continue that letter. There's a certain form that is used to head up that continuation page, especially for the fully blocked letter. And I'm going to go through that with you now before we go into a blocked letter to look at that layout. So two general guidelines that we need to bear in mind when we're doing continuation sheet or continuation page. We need to ensure that the continuation page consists of at least two lines of text in addition to the complementary clause and the signature block. So you cannot be typing a letter and only on the page two you have the complementary clause and the signature block. That doesn't make sense. If so be the case, you'll have to take over that last paragraph or that li last two line of text onto the second page for it to be a proper continuation page. And the first sheet of the paper should not be numbered. Now let us look at two examples of how this would look. So here I have um, layout number one, where we have, here we go, the page number which will be number two, right? The date, and the date that I have here is the same date that you will have on page one. So when you're typing a letter, remember, a letter must always have a date. So whatever the date is that is on page one of that letter, this is the same date you're going to put here. And then the name of the addressee. So right above that um, inside address, whoever the person that the letter is addressed to, or the title of the person, the manager or whomever, right? The name of the addressee, that goes here. And then I have, then we type the rest of the document. Note also that when we have that information, it is a double space between each, and then we have a triple space, and we continue the rest of the letter. And I have an example to the right. Second, so this is page two, all right? 1st of February 2021, Mr. Kenny Rogers. Double space between each, a triple space, and, a con and I continue with the rest of the letter. The second layout is similar, but the difference is that we have the name of the addressee at the top. All right? So this will be the name of the addressee, the page number, and the date as on page one. So we start off Mr. Kenny Rogers, page two, 17th of January 2021. And that is it. All right. So I do hope that you know how to head up your continuation page with this information. Now we're going to move over quickly to Microsoft Word, where I'm going to show you a complete two page block style letter. Okay. So here we are in Microsoft Word. Now, please remember the first things that we need to do once we open Microsoft Word. We need to set our margin. We need to select Times New Roman font size 12 and we need to go on No Spacing. Alright, now I'm just going to quickly show you my letterhead and page 2. So here I have, I'm going to double click in the letterhead or in the header rather. I'm going to select ensure that the header from top is at 3 inches and the letterhead video will explain why. Alright, so I have the block style letter with enumeration and the name of the person typing this letter all right we have, so that starts at 0 0.3 and at 0 0.5 the letterhead will start now we select different first page because this is the the page that we want our letterhead to be on and we do not want this letterhead to be on page two all right or the second and subsequent pages that should not be all right so the letterhead must only be on your page one i'm going to quickly now scroll down to page two to see how that should be headed. 
All right, so here we go. So I have two or the second, right? Page, meaning page two, 25th of January, 2021, Mr. Charles Smith. All in double line spacing, right? With a triple space after so that I can start typing the body of the letter once I go on page two. And that's how I have it. And bear in mind, everything is flushed to the left margin. So that's how the letterhead will be on page one and page two beheaded with my continuation page. I'm now going to close out of the header and go back to the letter. So as I start the page, as I come on the page, I will have here a double space and then I start out with my reference. Now, why I have a double space here, let me put up my reference, right? It's too close. It's too close to the to the um the letterhead, all right. Although maybe it can stay there if you so desire, but I prefer having a double space before giving some room between the header and the information. Following that, the date is written and the inside name and address. Bear in mind that we're using double space all throughout, all right. So it's a double space after the reference, then the date. Note my date. Day, month, year, 25th January, 2021. A double space, then the inside address. Note, no punctuation marks at all. It's not Mr. Dot Charles Smith. And after Smith, I have a comma. And after Road, I have a comma, etc. No. All right. So it is open punctuation. Bear that in mind. And then we get down to the salutation. And we have Dear Mr. Smith. All right, critical illness benefit. Now, this is my subject heading. So, my subject heading can be in all caps or it can be in initial caps and underlined. So, I can put that there. Initial caps and bold or initial caps and underlined. So, that can be my subject heading. All right, and then remember, we'll maintain double space all throughout. Double space after the salutation, then the subject heading. Double space after, then the body of the text. And so we're saying that the, when it comes to the body of the text, this now is where we can do our punctuations, etc. All right. Now I have enumeration. So enumeration is a double space between each point. After I have a triple space and then I get back to the rest of the letter. Note also I have the date a date in my letter, but the date within the letter should also follow the layout that you are doing. So the layout that we're doing is a block style, and as such, the date must also within the body must also be written in the block style. Consistency is key. You can't start the letter off with the date in the block style format, and within the body of the letter, you get confused and start doing other things. February one, etc. No, the format must be maintained within the body of the letter as well. All right, so here we are now on page two. So we spoke about the continuation page already and we still have our paragraphs here being blocked. All right, note my complimentary close. I started off with, with Mr. Charles Smith. Dear Mr. Smith, so it means that I know the name of the person to whom the letter has been addressed and as such, the letter, the complimentary close for the letter is yours sincerely. I now have six spaces. Let me put on my show hide. One, two, three, four, five. So I now have six show hides. All right. On the seventh, I drafted a line for the person to sign their signature once this letter is printed to be sent out. Right. And then I have Jackie Chang, Mrs. All right. So she, this is Mrs. Jackie Chang. Now, um note the missus does not carry a full stop after the s all right bearing in mind that we're still doing the block style letter and her position she's a customer service manager and that is written in single line spacing immediately below her name i then have a double space and i have enc stating that something is enclosed in this letter all right let us just quickly go back to the body of the letter to see all right, it says, should you require any further information, please do not hesitate to contact your agent by completing the service response request form attached. So that tells us that we should have an enclosure 
or attachment being written at the bottom of the letter. And that's it. A full, full explanation on the block style letter. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any information, any content when I upload it, as well as please make some comment in the comment section for me to know how my videos are being received. Thanks for watching and see you in my next upload.